Hey everybody, my name is Jared Gwines and we're here at Dallas Vintage Toys in Dallas, Texas, the best toy store in the world. You can shop 24-7 at DallasVintageToys.com or come in here to the store. They're open five days a week. Really easy to get in here uh, Tuesday through Sunday um, and they, they are closed on, uh, sorry, Monday and Tuesday. They're, they're open Wednesday through Sunday. Sorry about that. They're closed Mondays and Tuesdays. So here at Dallas Vintage Toys, um, they have tens of thousands of uh, retro toys, classic toys, collectible toys, uh, very, very uh, rare and old toys you haven't seen in a long time. And they even have some modern toys, some stuff from the 90s, 2000s, and today, some of the new uh, pop culture collectible stuff like that. So what I want to do here on Facebook Live with you guys is let you drive me. I'm going to let your comments and what you say on the screen. Jessica's uh, back behind the screen here, and she's going to tell me what you are saying because I can't uh, read the screen. We're going to walk around the store, and I'm going to try to show you some stuff and let you sort of shop digitally a little bit. Just check out some of the eye candy and look at some of the stuff. Some of the stuff you asked for, we're not going to have or we won't have available to show you. Um, and some of the stuff you asked for, we will have, but it'll be on the website. And I can't show you that because it's back in the warehouse. So with that said, I'm going to let you guys drive me. I'm going to get some cardio in. Um, and uh, today's wardrobe brought to you by my friends at Gecko Hawaii. Yes, they brought it back. GeckoHawaii.com. All right. So do we have any comments yet? Just hello. Hello. Anybody saying where they're watching from? Okay, and, and I guess the audio is coming in just okay. Yeah. You guys watching, is the audio sound clear? Can you guys understand what I'm saying clearly? Let me know that in a comment. So let's walk around here while we're waiting for a couple of comments. What is it? Shogun Warriors. Shogun Warriors. Hmm, let's go over here. We will find Shogun Warriors. We'll look. Uh huh. Um, any Shogun Warriors? I, haven't, I don't think we have any out here. We only just saw a few of them are on the website. Okay. So, I did just confirm with Trevor that we do have some Shogun Warriors on DallasVintageToys.com, but we don't have out here any in the store for me to show you. Do we have any more comments? Uh, Transformers Earthrise figures. Transformers Earthrise. On the end cap? On the end cap, and then to the left of that end cap is the ROS. But what about Earthrise? Earthrise, they'll be there. Okay. Or stuff on the other end cap, too. There'll be some more there. Okay, so we're going to look here. We have quite a bit of modern Transformers here. We have some stuff really about the last uh, 15 years on this rack, 15 to 20 years, some, uh, some different stuff that you can see. Uh, but we're looking for Earthrise specifically. So I'm looking here. We have a bunch of Masterpiece here on the end. This is cool. I did not realize that, uh, that we had all these. I hadn't seen. So there's War for Cybertron. There's War for Cybertron. Oh, here's some Earthrise stuff here. So this is, I guess, uh, like brand new. So here is a... Um, Earthrise, um, that's a Starscream, and then we've got uh, an Earthrise, um, what, Snapdragon, and here's an Earthrise uh, Grapple, and there's um, another Snapdragon, we might have a cool others here. So there's some modern Transformers for you modern collectors. We also have a bunch of classic G1 and G2 um, on the website and on DallasFinishToys.com. What else? Uh, Storm Collectible Lobo. Storm Collectibles Lobo. That's very specific. We don't. No Lobo in at the moment. What else? Use Master of the Universe. Yeah, we have Use Master of the Universe. They're not in this case, are they? They're over here. Motu? Uh, yeah, they'll be in that case and many more on the website. Yeah. So the Master of the Universe is right over here in this case. I'll show you. And we have a whole lot more than what I'm going to show you on DallasFinishToys.com. So if you just go over uh, these three rows, or really, actually, the entire case, honestly, is all Master of the Universe. But um, we have quite a bit here. This is really just a showcase. And I love the way that these cases look now. Um, I think Scott's done the merchandising over here. It's just really fun to look at, like just to have magnets and books and boxes and figures. And it, it's cool. So um, we have quite a bit of Masters of the Universe, uh, obviously from the 80s, and uh, different stuff here. We also have some of the classics and reissues. And uh, even the place up there is a Snake Mountain, uh, which you guys will recognize. But if you want to check out like the best of the best, you need to head over to DallasVintageToys.com, which I've linked here in the description of this video. And you can click that. And uh, just click on the Masters of the Universe uh, icon there on the left, and you can shop our selection. Uh, what's next? Do you guys have Sly G.I. Joe? Uh, well, we have one. That's, that's a play set. So let's go over here and look. So we have one right up here. So Jessica, if you could just put, put the camera up really high and just walk around. So that aircraft carrier playset is the USS flag. And that is a complete USS flag. 
Um, I'm pretty sure it's for sale. And we have two or three other ones back there. So when they come, when the USS flag uh, comes in, it's typically like in a tote or a box unassembled because you can see just how ridiculous and huge it is. I mean, it's just one of the biggest play sets of all time. And there's a lot of brittle parts and things that would have broken or snapped over the years or gotten lost. So obviously it's extremely valuable as well. Um, but we have at least three USS flags, if not more. And if you have one at home, we're always looking to buy them. That's a big part of the business here. Um, we talk a lot about selling you toys, but we also buy toys. Uh, we do it all the time. So um, uh, most of this store is uh, built up from toys that we bought from other collectors or from all around. And we buy from anywhere in the world. So uh, people ship us the toys. We evaluate them, give you an offer. It's pretty cool. Um, Sean cuts checks all the time, tens of thousands of dollars he cuts, and he's always hunting for good toys. So, uh, but don't try to dump your Furbies and your Hot Wheels and your uh, your boo-boo your 90s toys on us, please. We need that good good. So if you've got that good good from the 70s and the 80s uh, and the early 90s, please hit us up, DallasMinistoys.com slash contact. All right, what's up? What's next? Mask. Mask. Um, yeah. Actually, um, Sean was just showing he got in some, some brand new mask from the 80s, they found a shipment uh, in South America, and he was able to buy some of that, which was cool. Let me see which case it might be in here if we moved it. We used to have some masks right here, but none of it's out. So we definitely have masks on the website. We might have moved some over here. No, I'm not seeing it. We, we definitely have masks. Um, but there's no, is there any mask out in the store, Trevor? Uh, there might be, uh, maybe like some on the display over there, but haven't been updated in a while with masks. I haven't. Uh, we do have more on the website, which is well. Yeah, I know that we have, uh, plenty of masks on DallasFinishToys.com, but uh -huh. I haven't seen, there was some over here in the case, but it's not there anymore. Yeah. Yeah, we just, uh, we, then we just don't have any on here at the moment. Yeah. But we definitely have some though. Yes, we do. Yeah, it's on the, it's on the website, DallasFinishToys.com, and you can click on the, uh, tabs on the left-hand side, you'll see a mask section. All right, what's next? Uh, vintage team and TV Universal monster figures. Uh, well, we have plenty of vintage team and uh, Ninja Turtles, but in terms of the Universal monsters, that's very specific. Yeah, um, uh, um, we, we might have some. So do we need to check the website? Yeah, I can check. Can the we website. check it out? Yes, we can. Yeah, so, just for you for you guys watching, uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles is one of our most um, popular segments that we have here. Uh, Ninja Turtles, GI Joe, Star Wars, He Man. Uh, um, you know, those four lines in particular, Transformers would be like a fifth. Those are some of the biggest, most popular lines that we have here. We have uh, thousands, and I'm not, even, I'm not exaggerating, we have thousands of vintage Ninja Turtles action figures. Do we have that so one? So we only have two right now. They're we do have two. Carded. It's a Leo as a Wolfman and Michelangelo as Frankenstein. So did you hear him? He said we have Leo, Leo Wolfman and Michelangelo Frankenstein, uh, Ninja Turtles, uh, Universal Monsters, mm -hmm. and they're both carded. Yes, they are. So they're very, very nice examples. You can find them both listed on DallasFinishToys.com right now. I've linked it right here in the video description. And mm -hmm. you just click the Ninja Turtles tab on the left-hand side. It's uh, I think it's under TMNT, actually. Yes, sir. And you'll find it there under carded figures. Mm -hmm. Thank you. All right, what's cool. up? What's next? Power of the Force, 1984. Uh, Power of the Force 1984. Um, that's Star Wars. Yeah, Star Wars. Yeah. So we have a bunch of um, yeah, we have some of the graded ones. A lot of graded ones back here. I know that. Those are the ones with the coins in them. So I'll show them those to you. And many non-graded ones on the website as well. We're gonna come here through Castle Grayskull. Watch out for Jeffrey the Draft. You know he was out of work there for a while, so we let him come work here at Dallas Finished Toys. Um, so Power of the, of the Force is gonna be. So like um, all these ones here with the coins, if you just want to go over like these two rows nice and slow. So you can see we've got a lot of power of the, uh, of the force. Uh, Ewoks, we got um, the Luke Skywalker and the, uh, and the uh, Rebel Gear, Han Solo, A-Wing Pilot, um, Chewbacca, um, EV-909, a lot more Ewoks, etc. Uh, we have a bunch of non-graded ones on DallasFinishToys.com also under the Star Wars tab. So I've linked that in the video description if you guys want to surf over there after the live stream. All right, what's next? Um, Earthrise Smokescreen. Okay, uh, Earthrise Smokescreen is going to be Transformers. And those are over here on this end cap. Thank you guys for watching today, by the way. I hope you guys are having a really terrific Thursday. 
So they said Earthrise what? Smoke screen. Smoke screen. Okay, let's look. We don't. Is that like a really hot one or well, something? It, it's, I think it's like wave two. Okay. Or wave three. It's one of the newer waves. We just haven't got to them yet. Okay, so we don't have an Earthrise smoke screen at the moment. You're certain? Yes. Okay. Very certain. All right, well, we have a lot, but we don't have that one. All right, what's next? 70s Star Trek phaser. A 70s Star Trek phaser. Ah, uh, that's basically good. Like a, vi a vintage, vintage. We only one. have like the mo more modern, like the 90s Playmates version. But yeah, that's about it. we do have some Star Trek. You know, I think I saw a Star Trek phaser in the box over here. Someone so like, well. so like, if you're looking like a, a like a classic Star Wars phaser, my hair too. so, so that's a Star Trek Insurrection. This one would be a classic like original style, but this one's definitely not from the '70s. This is definitely from uh, the '90s. This is a Playmates phaser, um, but we do have there's a Klingon disruptor, and we have three or four different types of phasers here, new in the box. If you wanted one of those for some reason, you could reach out to us, and we can arrange uh, shipping. All right, what's next? Oh, yeah, Vintage Star Wars. Well, um, for those of you guys watching, Dallas Vintage Toys is one of the world's experts, collectors, and resellers of Vintage Star Wars. And we have a, uh, a, a obscene amount of uh, Vintage Star Wars here. Um, you could buy a house and a half with the amount of Vintage Star Wars we have in this building. So just to show you, Jessica, if you just want to show them really quick, um, every row here, nice and slow. And this is just a tiny, tiny, tiny example of some of the uh, vintage Star Wars that we have around. And we'll show you some more since you guys asked about it. Now, the best of the best is obviously gonna be on DallasVintageToys.com. We have taken the time and trouble to build out um, our website. So you can head over to DallasVintageToys.com and check out some of our vintage Star Wars. Let me show you some more over here in this case. You might just point out, just cause it's neat, these uh, Return of the Jedi photo buttons. Those are kinda neat. There's none, there's none over here in these cases. So follow me this way. So back here in the graded room, the majority of this is vintage Star Wars. Not all of it, but a majority. And um, so probably 80% of this room. So you just show this case here. If you had even one of these, it would be an awesome collectible that would be worth being proud of. But we have hundreds, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of um, mint or near mint condition, vintage, carded, graded Star Wars. And we have all the different iterations, all the diff different variations, all the different countries and color schemes and play sets from the Darth Vader TIE Fighter to the Millennium Falcon spaceship to the X-Wings, the Hoth Generator, um, you know, the Turbo, uh, the Turret play set, the Cloud City play set, uh, photo cards, um, Empire Strikes Back, Return of the Jedi, Power of the Force, uh, it just goes on and on and on. Job of the Hunt Dungeon, um, the Rain Cores. We got three three beautiful Rain Cores down there. Even the droids, even the Ewoks, the Ewok Combat Glider. Uh, it, it's just really silly how much Star Wars we have. And if you don't even like them in the packaging, then we have loose graded Star Wars here. And again, hundreds of them. Just to show a little bit of this, what you're seeing in front of you is a just world class collection of Star Wars. Uh, that Star Wars Return of the Jedi Toy Center, that's a store display from the, uh, from the 80s of that we have here. Just pieces like that, you're just not going to see them everywhere, guys. So stuff like this is why it's definitely worth it to come into the store. And we encourage you, if you can, to make a trip one day and try to get in here and come check out this stuff in person. Because some of the stuff that you're going to see in here with your, with your eyes, like look at the, you look at the double telescoping uh, Darth Vader up there. I don't even want to ask how much that guy is worth. That might even be a prototype. So um, something like that's a, a 90, like a, like a DT Vader 90 like that is going to be worth thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars. It's crazy, that figure. So we have some super, super rare stuff, um, stuff that you may want or be interested in, but you just got to let us know. Check out the, the, the Jurassic Park. I'm glad they put the Transformers Rex back here because the Transformers Rex is with his friend, the Triceratops. And then you have the command compound. That's a graded sealed command compound. You just want, you'll go your whole life and never see that again. And I'm serious. So uh, then they have the Velociraptors, the Dilophosaurus, um, you know, some of the different stuff. Uh, just beautiful examples. And, you know, and we have toys that aren't just for people who are into toys, but you're into the culture of toys or into the packaging or the history of toys. You're, 
you're looking at it, at it even deeper than just the toy itself. You're you're into the whole culture of it. It's bigger than that. You know, it's like owning a piece of history in a way. All right, what's next? Blackbird GI Joe. Blackbird GI Joe. You know, I was just in the back, and Scott was putting together some Night Force stuff and had some of the rare waves. Uh, let's check in with Trevor if he's still over here. Oh, Trevor's with the customer right now. We'll ask him in a second. We'll look here at some of this NECA stuff here. The That's the next question, NECA Horror. Oh, NECA Horror. I was just looking at this NECA 2-pack. This is so cool. This looks just like the pinball machine. They're just so big. I wish they were, like, smaller. But. Um, so we're going to come back to that G.I. Joe question, um, whoever asked that. But for NECA Horror, since we're standing right in front of you, uh, we have a lot. So here's uh, Gremlins. And then we have all the It, Halloween, Friday the 13th, Part 1, 2, uh, 5, Freddy vs. Jason, Alien, um, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, Evil Dead, uh, Terminator, Predator, Predators, Alien vs. Predator, um, Nightmare on Elm Street. Uh, I think we have some Chucky stuff in here. There's even, uh, uh, there's even Scream and a couple of other uh, different scary stuff. Here's some more. Nightmare on Elm Street over here. So it just depends what you're into specifically, but we have quite a bit of NECA. And then we even, of course, have uh, loose NECA, which is like uh, over in this case. So uh, across this top shelf here, you'll see uh, NECA horror back there. Uh, a lot of loose figures. If they come in in good shape, we'll buy them. So you'll see uh, some Predators, some Aliens. Uh, there's some uh, Jason. There's some uh, more Aliens. There's a Pennywise up there. Uh, just cool stuff. These are, you know, really high quality action figures for adult collectors. They're nice. All right, um, Trevor, can I ask you a question? Yes. Uh, we had a customer um, was asking us about what do you say? He said GI Joe, what Night Force? Um, Blackbird. Black a Blackbird, like the like the jet. Oh, the uh, a GI Joe Blackbird. The, the Night Raven. What he he just called it Blackbird. Blackbird. That's, um, I'm thinking that's a Night Raven. Yeah, maybe he's talking about the Night Raven. Yeah. Um, these days. We definitely, we definitely have plenty of those in the back. I don't know if there's any complete right now, but he's got, he's got a dozen of them back there in the, those bins. So much cool stuff in here. I mean, those Django Unchained figures, people don't even know how rare those things are. We have one Night Raven complete. Yeah, so we do have one complete Night Raven on DallasMansToys.com under the G.I. Joe slash uh, and then vehicles. Okay. Hopefully that's what you meant, Night Raven. All right, uh, what's next? Uh, Motu prototypes. Uh, yeah, we do have some. The Motu prototypes that we have are graded, yeah, right? So that. we can go back over there and show you. So we're going to go back into Castle Grayskull. If you're a Mo Master of the Universe fan, you'll love this uh, airbrush diorama. They did that with spray paint. So the Motu... Prototypes, there's one. And this is uh, right out of Mattel, like they you know, smoked it out of the, the factory here. And then, of course, uh, go across this top row nice and slow. These are some of our uh, Motu prototypes that we have here. And then uh, across the next row, across the top as well, those are all prototypes. Very, very cool to see. And then uh, this row, there's three here that you might have missed. Those are all prototypes. So if you're wondering why they're weird colors like that, it's because they do rapid prototyping and 3D printing and stuff at, at, at Mattel. Um, and the toy manufacturers, they basically build raw versions to see, um, you know, before they, they get painted. And they're just trying to show proportions and try to see angles and shapes and, you know, figure out what a figure looks like. So a lot of these guys, there's only one of one in the world. So if you're really into Masters of the Universe, you might be into those. Those are already listed uh, on DallasMinishToys.com. Next. Uh, do we still have the TMNT Hawking game? I thought I might, uh, somebody walked out with one of these big things the other day. Uh, it might have been, we had a turtle wagon, like a Tyco turtle wagon. It was I've never seen anything like it. It was like $1,000. It's gone. The big one. No, so, so for the longest time, we had the turtle sewer hockey playset. It's gone. Yeah. Yeah. So the turtle sewer hockey playset's gone. The giant turtle wagon, electric turtle wagon's gone. Mm -hmm. We do have um, a turtle's dunk, which is like a like a laundry set that they have. And then we have two other big items too that are cool. 
this Ninja Turtles tricycle right here and the Ninja Turtles uh, the bike. And you got, you know, your original Ninja Turtles box bike over there um, with the training wheels on the side. That's actually pretty radical. But some of those super huge um, Ninja Turtles items that we had when this store, um, this location first opened, I mean, they're already gone, guys. Uh, but since you asked about Ninja Turtles, here's a rare item, too, is a Tyco uh, Ninja Turtles um, 4x4 truck, which is kind of cool. And I, d I do believe they actually raced this in Monster Jam at one point um, a, a little while back, about 10 or 15 years ago. All right, what's next? Marvel Universe 4-inch figures. Marvel Universe 4-inch figures. Yeah, this is really good with the Marvel all of uh, Ninja Turtles. So someone was asking there about Marvel Universe 4-inch figures. So we have quite a bit here. And you would have to come into the store and, you know, go through the different pegs. But, you know, just to show you just, just a little sample, um, you know, there's Thanos. There's the Thing. Black Knight. Vision. Clear Vision. Dark Hawkeye. Guardian. Cable. Hercules. Samson. Nighthawk, goes on and on. Iron Fist, I mean, I, I'm not gonna sit here and show you all of these, but let's just say that we have, we have a lot here, Dallas News Toys. So yes, we definitely have those. What's next? Um, the quarter scale NECA TMNT? Um, quarter scale NECA TMNT, if we have any, would be here, but we might be sold out. So this is some of our quarter scale selection. Doesn't look like we have any quarter scale Ninja Turtles right now, actually, guys. Those are really popular. They came, they gone. All right, what's next? Super Friends carded. Carded Super Friends. So Super Friends. If we d if we had any of those, those are some cool vintage toys. They would definitely be on the website. They're not going to be out here in the store. They'd be back in the warehouse. As soon as I touch it, it went black. Okay. Okay. Well, um, I don't know what's going on with that. Fine. I walked right over, and the screen just went black, and now it won't do anything. Oh, it's the uh, <laughs> little switch. There's like a switch. Oh. On the I've done it. I've done it uh, many times. Oh, I see. Yeah. Well, someone was asking about carded super friends. Carded super friends. Let's see what we got. <coughs> Or superpowers. They said super friends. Super friends. Okay. Hopefully, all of you guys watching from around the world and around the country are having a terrific Thursday. And we're yeah. having a fun time here at Dallas Finish Toys. The only ones we have right now was uh, from 2003 by DC Direct: a uh, Aquaman and Black Manta, and a Wonder Woman and Cheetah. Okay, so we have four different ones, and they're on DallasFinishToys.com. No, they're two two packs. Okay, we have two two packs of Super Friends on DallasFinishToys.com. Are uh -huh. they under DC? Yeah, it's under DC. Okay, so look under the DC tab in DallasFinishToys.com, and you'll find our two two packs of Super Friends. What's mm -hmm. next? How much is the USS Flag? The NMT price on it. Do you know? And it's already sold. Okay. It's already sold. Yeah, I'm gonna double. Let me confirm it with Sean because you're saying that one's sold in there. Okay. So, hey Sean, is that USS Flag sold? It's in the grave room, right? Sorry, we're checking on that for you guys. Do we have another complete one for sale? Uh, do we have another complete one for sale? I think we do. Okay. Okay. So, uh, so that flag in there, we're hearing guys is sold. I guess it's 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 a waiting pickup. Um, Sean was saying that we've already sold six or seven complete flags this year already. But if you're really serious about uh, wanting one, we might be able to build one. Uh, we're still going through all of our parts bins and everything in the back. So if you give us, if you're a serious buyer on a complete flag, um, message us on Facebook or email us and leave us your name and number and information. We'll call you. We'll put you on the list um, uh, so that way you can get one. All right, what's next? Vintage Ghostbusters. Vintage Ghostbusters. In fact, I was just looking at a beautiful firehouse playset with the box. Uh, they have a complete firehouse playset with the box. I think it has everything except for the uh, the ecto, uh, the the ecto, the pink slime, the ectoplasm. They call it ectoplasm. That sounds disgusting. Um, but if you look down there, there's actually so there's the proton pack, the ghost trap, and uh, like the proton wand. So those three items there on the left are Ghostbusters, that yellow looking spaghetti noodle thing. So we have a few different uh, Ghostbusters stuff there. 
and you can find more on DallasBrandishToys.com under the Ghostbusters tab. I don't think we have, we don't have the firehouse out here, but I saw it in the back. It's actually pretty sweet, and the box is awesome. All right, what's next? Where can we get the outfit you're wearing? Uh, you can get the outfit that I'm wearing at GeckoHawaii.com. So uh, for those of you guys who are old enough, like me, to remember Gecko Hawaii, they were around in the uh, 80s and 90s big time. They used to sell them at all the department stores, and they were a big brand. Uh, you saw the big lizard. So they just relaunched this brand about two months ago. And if you're like me and you like the 80s and the 90s, and if you're watching this, uh, this live stream, you probably like the 80s and 90s, you might be into this or other really cool retro gear. So check out GeckoHawaii.com. Uh, and don't tell them Jared sent you because they won't know who I am. Uh, but it's definitely worth worth checking out. It's very fun. Imperial shuttle. Um, if we have an imperial shutter, I, I know that we don't have one out because we've already looked at most of the Star Wars stuff. We may have a, a modern imperial sh shuttle somewhere, but I haven't I haven't seen one. If we have one, it'll be on DallasFinishToys.com. There's not one. Oh wait, hold on. So here is a giant. It has a 28-inch wingspan, but this is a Return of the Jedi Hasbro Imperial Shuttle, and this is in the box. $249.99. That's an expensive toy, but it's huge. Like, it is as big as this box, and then the wings unfold in it. And 28 inches, guys, that's, that's, that's big. That's really big. So, and it has a handle on the bottom. You can fly it around. It's cool. Neat toy. All right, what's next? Marvel Hot Toys. Marvel Hot Toys. We do have a few. Um, let's go check them out. Uh, the Hot Toys are not on DallasVintageToys.com. Um, so looking at uh, Marvel Hot Toys, um, here's a Magneto. Here's a Red Skull. Here's a um, Iron Man 2 War Machine. There's a uh, Rocket. There's another version of Rocket. Um, here's a... Uh, another here's a Mark II uh, diecast war machine, which is sort of like the better version uh, of that toy. Then you've got the uh, Spider-Man Far From Home in the homemade suit. You got a Thor, Ant-Man. Um, then you got Hulk in his uh, battle armor from Thor Ragnarok, which is probably the coolest version of a Hulk. And you got an Iron Man Mark III in diecast as well. Um, and everything else is DC. So that's the stuff that we have in stock right now. But that stuff comes and goes. Oh, and you can't forget the best hot toy ever made. The Hulkbuster. So you got your um, Age of Ultron uh, Hulkbuster from Avengers 2, basically. And this is probably the baddest of the bad. So this is $1,169. Uh, so you can put a down payment on a new Honda or you can buy this toy. Um, but I happen to have this. And it's probably the most impressive hot toy there is. And w one of the cool things about this is you can open it up and put in the 12 inch Iron Man into the suit, just like he does in the movie. It's really, really cool. Um, it's an incredibly expensive and delicate toy. A lot of places to hide uh, batteries for the lights, but it's a showstopper. It's a grail piece for any Hot Toys collectors, the Hulkbuster, you really need it. All right, what's next? Mobile Command Center GI Joe. Yeah, we actually have one right over here. I just saw it. Um, So this is $219, if you can uh, get up there and show a little bit. So, and we might even have more than this on DallasFinishToys.com, to be honest. But we have uh, some of the bigger stuff up here. So I believe that's a complete or nearly complete um, playset there. So that one's $219. And then we have a couple of other bases here. we got a, a, a base here, or, and then we've got uh, a couple of the other uh, big vehicles. These, this one here is in superb condition. Um, with the coloration and the missiles and uh, the lack of fade and everything. This is just awesome. This one's $349, um, and this one over here, uh, slightly different, $249. But we have a lot more than what you're seeing here on DallasFinishToys.com on the G.I. Joe section. All right, guys, I'll take one more question. we got to wrap it up. So what, what's the last one? Super 7 Thundercats. Super 7 Thundercats. So Super 7 stuff. So I do believe, so here's Super 7 Ninja Turtles, Super 7 Motu, Super 7 Transformers. Oh, here's Super 7 Thundercats. So here's your uh, Slith, Jackalman, Lion-O, Mumra, 
Cheetah. So we do have uh, plenty of Super 7 uh, Thundercats here in stock. If you're interested in those or wanted to check those out, we got them. So I don't believe that those are on DallasFanishToys.com because these are sort of, uh, sort of you know, little local items. But if you're into one of these or you really got to have them or whatever, you can always call us and we can see about making arrangements. Guys, Dallas Finished Toys has all kinds of, uh, of fun toys and cool stuff for everybody. We appreciate the support, especially during this time. We know that um, you know, you've got options. You could buy toys from a lot of places, but we appreciate you buying them from us. So if you can come in here to the store and visit us, we'd like to see you in Dallas. We're open five days a week, Wednesday through Sunday. Uh, we're easy to find on Google, Google Maps. If you don't know how to use Google, maybe you shouldn't be operating a vehicle in the first place, and, and, and you could just figure out how to get to the store on your own. Uh, just kidding. We could. Uh, no, I'm not going to tell you. I'm not just kidding. You, really, you, need, you need to learn how to use Google. It's just it's an important life skill. Um, but for those of you, the many of you, the majority of you, who do not live in North Texas and cannot come here by car, you can visit us 24-7 online at DallasFinishToys.com. And we do have uh, more than 10,000 toys there. They work day and night, every single day, to add toys because you guys keep buying them so quick. Uh, and we appreciate that support. It means a lot to us during this time. This store would never even be here if it wasn't for the years and years of support that you guys have put into this place. So if we could help you, please reach out on Facebook and the Messenger. We check Messenger all the time on Instagram uh, or on our website on the contact link. Uh, whichever way you want to shop, that's the right way, and we appreciate your support. My name is Jared Wines, and we'll see you more uh, live soon. Lots of cool stuff coming right here to your new suite from Dallas Finish Toys.